Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects tutorial, I'm going to share five music video effect ideas. So the first effect we're going to head over to is the time folder in the effects panel, and this is the CC wide time effect. This is a really cool way to make fake shutter speed blur in your video. So in the effects control panel, we have options for forward steps and backward steps, and also native motion blur or not. But basically, we just want to increase the forward steps or backward steps, maybe 10 or so. If you do too much, it might get really laggy. You might have to lower the playback quality so you can actually play it. And what you'll notice is happening is that it's creating these echoes or shutter speed duplications on any movement that's happening. So right now, there's movement in the background, so we get this cool blur. But as I play, if there's movement in the subject, you get that cool blur. And it almost looks like as if it was shot on low shutter speed. If you want to make it look smoother, you can play around with some of the motion blur settings and also the amount of forward or backward steps. You could increase that for a more dragged out look. But basically, it's a really simple way to create this low shutter effect. And just as a little bit of a bonus tip, if you add a posterized time effect on there, it's in the same folder, you can lower the time to like six frames per second. And now you have, you really have that low shutter effect that's really popular in a lot of music videos these days. Next up, another cool one you'll find in the stylized effects folder is the glow effect. So this one by default will add this nice glow onto some of the highlights of the photo. But in the effects control panel, you actually have the option to adjust the radius of that glow, so and also the threshold of how many things it affects. So you can get this totally glowed out look like this, or you can also change the color of the glow. So instead of white, I can even make it like a red color. And if I choose instead of the original colors it's using, the A and B colors, now we get this red glow happening. But if you also keyframe the threshold, you can go from like, this kind of glow outline happening if you keyframe it from 0 to 100. And you can also increase or lower the intensity. So remember, you can keyframe any of these effects to stop and start just by clicking the stopwatch icon, moving forward a bit, and then increasing or decreasing it, and then going back and forth so that when you play that back, and if you drop down this layer, you can see all of your effects and all of those keyframe diamonds. As it moves from one keyframe to the next, it'll get more intense, less intense, however you set it. Here's what it looks like with a really huge glow radius, and I just set it to horizontal instead of horizontal and vertical. We almost get this cool light leak happening. So just in this one effect, we've done so many different things. Another cool effect we'll find in the generate folder is the CC light rays effect. And this is kind of like a glow, but instead it it glows from one point and I can click and drag this point out wherever I want. And as the video clip moves around, you'll notice it creates a glow from that point. And if I want to make it even more flashy, I can increase the intensity a lot or even play around with the radius to be wider or smaller and also adjust the softness. So for example, I can just keep a glow like here by the windows as the camera and the person kind of moves around, it creates this cool light ray effect happening. So remember, you can keyframe this as well. I can keyframe the center to constantly follow the camera, for example. If I add a stopwatch there, move forward a little bit, just manually keep it following the camera. And if, if I show you what that looks like now, we've kind of got this cool beam of light happening that constantly follows her camera. So this is just one video clip, one example, but the light rays effect can be pretty cool to play with for short clips or just creating those beams of light coming out. The next effect, this is a pretty standard music video effect, but it can still always look cool, is the mirror effect. You'll find this in the distort video effects folder, and this simply allows you to create a reflection along an angle. So you can do vertical, but most of the time you might just see like a horizontal mirror and it works in degrees. So if I do 180 degrees, it'll create this line. 
straight down and then I can just move the reflection center over the X point a little bit. Just drag that out to until I don't get the black edges because I don't want that. But this definitely depends on your video clip. But in cases like this, where the background is moving, we've got some cool camera movement. It can create interesting shots. Or if you want to play around with the angle a little bit, if you want to try different angles and different things. In this case, it even is kind of creating a cool like double floor effect. So sometimes effects can look a lot more complicated than they are, especially like this. You might think, how did they do that? With the shape, it's simply just a mirror and a cool original cl clip and location. Lastly, a very simple one we have, you also find this effect in Premiere Pro, is the strobe light inside of the stylized folder. If I simply add this onto the clip, it'll create by default a white strobe every half second. But I can change that to be any color I want, such as black, and I can make it any duration I want, such as every 0.2 seconds within every... 0.4 seconds. So on for 0.2 seconds every 0.4 seconds. That creates this little flash going on. I can make it faster or slower or I can just make it make this layer transparent which will look black but if I ever put anything else underneath that will show up as well. So you can use it to transition between clips just by arranging layers on top of each other or you can just use it as a flash and if you want to turn it off and on you can just add keyframes onto the blend with original from zero to 100% and it'll turn off at that point basically. And you can also make them change colors. Let's say I add a red strobe instead and set it to operate on color. And I can also change that to add blending mode or difference blending mode. See, this is what it looks like on difference blending mode. But strobe is a pretty classic effect you'll see it often. Those are five different music video effect ideas. Play around, combine, and mix and match them. And if you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other effect tutorials. I've actually got a playlist going over every single effect in After Effects for tons of more ideas. And subscribe to my channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.